It's just Siri time right here on News Central. This morning, we'll be digging deep into a conversation that will shape West African economics. But before that, ladies, I'd like to know your thoughts on a particular issue. A you particular know, Catherine's always issue. complaining that I'm always asking questions. Yes, but this time well, around, it's, it's a statement. But you're it, making it also a statement. has, what would you do at the end, <laughs> at the end of it? <laughs> so, it's a question. No, but there's a statement. Carry on. Okay, right. go on. So this guy, right, needed to borrow his neighbor's <laughs> ladder to fix his ladder, AC. Ladder. In this Lagos. <laughs> In this Lagos, right? Just, you know, a quick 20 minutes fix and, and stuff like that. Well, little did he know. The neighbor gave him more, right? But little did he know that he was going to pay for the ladder. Mm. I'm talking about 20 minutes. Like, you just climb up and then you borrow the ladder, you do something. But he was going to, you know, pay something small. Um, so the, the thing here is... He, you know what? Let's just take a look. <laughs> Let me know. My, it's too heavy for my mouth. <laughs> okay. I approached them and they insisted I had to pay. I did. Next day, AC man wanted to check something with the outdoor unit. Wasn't going to be more than 20 minutes. Neighbors insisted I had to pay in full. A few weeks later, we had bad light. Please, it don't forget. Many he minutes. did. <laughs> he did. Pay. Too My paid. pumping machine and borehole machine got bad. I got a new one. Theirs got bad too. They approached and said they needed to get some water from my compound. I told them 1K <laughs> per bucket too. One day, fuel scarcity, during fuel scarcity, one of their cars stopped on the road. They needed a hose. They asked my driver. I told them to I told him to tell them 5K. Finally, Sha, I gave them for free. Since that day, most times I use their ladder, they don't charge me. When you put a price to everything, just make sure you're never you never need something from those you've been charging. I'm actually pissed at I the guy. I love this. I'm pissed. Why did he give them for free? No, That's he like, gave them for free after charging 1K. them. Per bucket. Mm -mm. If they're a family, that five, two people, that 5K would have been pissed. necessary. No, they paid. You guys are not kidding it. No, he, he said, finally, I free. gave them for free. No, he after they paid for buckets and paid for holes, the Shah gave them holes for free. That's what, no, no, he didn't pay for the holes. They didn't pay. He charged Save them for them. the holes, and then they he eventually just gave them for free. They needed holes. They asked That's driver. the one that told them five k. Okay, but the Shah yeah. paid for the bucket, Shah. Yeah, one one k. Uh, but how many buckets? Your house needs a lot of buckets. No, for that time, for that one k, they will regulate the buckets. <laughs> why? Why would you even charge someone for using your ladder? You know how you look at your neighbor as say you don't the iron. Neighbor, this neighbor. Guy, this guy, be like say things. You understand? You see your car. The guy seems organized. Your car is always clean. Your drive. Everything is organized. It be like say you get money. But is that what you, you should be thinking? You should listen. In a neighborhood where you guys are at least high, high, how men do that nod or whatever, mm, yo, there's so some, you, you think about the fact that what would happen if you're not home? Yeah. So let me get, so our, we're like eight in our compound on the flat. And my nanny went to pick up my daughter and there was a fire in the house. No, before she was going, she was on the way to pick up the daughter. And then that's how a fire started from the junction box or whatever. Yes. It was our gate man and our neighbor, one lady downstairs from us. Who were the ones helping us to put everything out and everything she was the one who called my husband oh my god there's a fire in your house yeah in the junction box so to this day because i feel like i owe her if she needs anything and say what no. do you need i will give you and my thinking is you never know what happens even if people don't ever need anything why it's a ladder you are you trying to make your money back for because you bought the ladder maybe twenty thousand naira? Sister, people are just badly behaved in oh. an economy in a country where the economy is economy and people oh, they are feeling the brunt of it I understand but where you're coming from. Was yeah, my, my sister, I understand where you come from. On the streets in my estate, there's somebody, there's that one house, they have a ladder that's just there. The ladder is for rent. When I first saw the ladder, I thought, mm, do these people always have nepper issues that a ladder must be here? They said, no, the it's ladder for the is for rent. Yeah. So if the ladder is for rent, that's different. I may be living some streets down and they come there to borrow the ladder yeah. or to pay for it. I will pay for it. But if you are my neighbor, my dear, like you said, nobody knows tomorrow. No, why are you charging me for ladder? And the man, no argue, he paid. He wants the AC man comes to check something again on the outdoor unit. And you charge him and he pays. And I'm very sure they're charging him full price. Yeah. Yeah. So the house opposite us, they have a ladder. They're probably the only house on the street. And you know this AC thing that they need to do sometimes, or when you're moving into a new place, especially you when you're that upstairs. Stuff. Yeah. That stuff, sometimes they're only up on that ladder 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. They're never on that ladder like... But they'll charge you full price. Mm. So we've been using it once before. My husband got tired. He went to, he went right. to the junction it's to go and look for somebody exactly. else. Because the next time, this year, that we wanted to use the ladder, they came back and said the ladder was 5K. So you can imagine how much that man paid. He, he must have paid for 10K. 
for two uses, ah. two ladder uses, he paid 10K. And, and then you come, and you see, that's the thing. Maybe because he had been very... Um, he didn't make a fuss about it. Yeah, he and yeah. he's just been very with easy flow. with them. You want yeah. to borrow something, you want to fetch well, water. But of yeah, course it was for, strange. For free. But when you put a price on it, I agree with what he said. When you put a price on it, things change. Mm -hmm. Water finds its level. When you I, put I, a price I like that his last statement. And says, there's respect. Be careful that when you put a price on everything, you're, you're able to pay. Yeah. You never need something. Yeah. Or you're able to pay when you need something. Yeah. If we can get to the last, before we start paraphrasing. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if, if, if anybody wants to leave, they always say no man is, a, is an, island. an island. If you yeah. want to be an island, then leave on an island. Mm -hmm. Because you w there's no how you would not need something from somebody. And it's not just, just even about charging them for whatever they use. It's about either being cruel or yeah. even this, I'm minding my own business. Yeah. Right? It's okay to mind your business, but there's a limit to it you're minding it's your like business the whole you don't situation. situation yeah it's, it's, his, it's his driver they saw that they wanted to borrow the hose from you know that is that kind of situation i've been driving before on the express and something happened to my car the lady in front of me stopped i jammed her and what was that the radiator mm -hmm. it was somebody who recognized my car who went and turned and stayed with me helped me reverse with all those area boys and I, one of my husband's friends and i think at the end of the day it's just do what do unto others as you would have them do to exactly. you. It's, it's a golden exactly. rule. Exactly. You want people to be open and, yeah. and be helpful. Be helpful. Sometimes it doesn't come back to you. I strongly believe that sometimes the blessings I enjoy in my life are because of some of the things my parents have done. So I yeah. tell my daughter a lot. I remember when I was in high school, my dad would pick up some of my friends and you know drop them at their neighborhood. I'm like, what are you doing? He said, because if you were in that situation, I would want someone to do it for you. Exactly. So now when I'm driving to Corey Day School and I see somebody in her school uniform, should I pick them? She'll tell me, no, no, no. I said, no, granddaddy said. Yes. Because I want to put out into the universe something That's, good yeah. with the expectation that back, if I actually. don't, you know, get yeah. it back, maybe it's my daughter. Yeah. 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 There, there's never a guarantee that there'll be a payback. But exactly. the most important thing is you paying it forward. Yeah. If someone Absolutely. has ever been kind to you, just pay it forward. You might be kind be to someone who is cruel, ladder. but then... You know, at some point in, in their life, they realize that oh, what this person did for me really made a lot of sense, and then they do it for someone else too. So just do it. You don't know, it might not come back, but it will go forward. But what about setting boundaries? <laughs> because this, like, Kathy was talking about the economy, economy, but let's also be honest Nigerians and other people, people like we, to take advantage. Yes. You yeah. might be that same person that you are letting use the ladder for free. Imagine somebody else comes into their compound, they charge that person. Yes. And be like, oh, I'll get, they'll tell you, I'll bring your ladder back on. Tomorrow or the next day, somebody else comes. Oh, you have a ladder? Can I use? It? They now rent out your ladder, and then they're making money from. from like, your, it's just so strange. Actually, we, we yes. Yeah, so, but if, it, so in that kind of situation, if you find out that that's happening, you can now just the same way he did. He wasn't charging for water at first. Then when he found out that oh, this is what we're doing now, then he charged. So if you see that energy. the person is like, oh, this, this person doesn't deserve it. So you know, so but, you said something. Do unto others what you'd have them do unto you. Absolutely. You were charging him for ladder. He now charges you for water, what? and it's like ah. So there's a, there's a, you know, you're matching energy. I, this is, you just realize that, okay, so he's serving me. Ah, all right. And so apparently, doing they this. even turned out to need him more mm -hmm. than he needed. Because, like, yeah. He didn't need the 1K for water, but he just more. needed, yeah. I will My collect sister, the 5K. Collect, so you want those. What do you think about sharing Wi-Fi with people in your car? No! <laughs> so look, N O. No is what? No. No, 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 and no. Because you know why? Wi-Fi is the easiest, is the easiest platform or thing for people to just spoil. In the sense that when I say spoil, in the sense that they will download everything. <laughs> no, but but see. Everything. Everything. So no, no, let's be nah, honest, right? No, nah, wait, there's a kind of money you, you would have that that no. wouldn't matter to you. Imagine <laughs> using imagine using a Starlink, for example. Oh, you cannot maybe. finish it. I see. You can't use a Starlink because alone. I can't finish it. I have to say it to the so just come to stand not, under my umbrella. That's the mean of paying wow. forward. Because someone can come let's like this. No, there's a boundary in paying for even paying for what no, but, 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 but genuinely you cannot use a Starlink alone. Even right. some of the Wi-Fi plans that people have, they cannot finish it. Yeah, Come so, on. I mean, so, so I, another thing you can so do... So I might as well take you to... No, no, another thing happened to you before. What's wrong? I don't know. She's no. taking some person. What's wrong? No, Catherine, because but another thing you can do is to make money from me without exploiting them, mm -hmm. right? So you're... It's like they are... Let's say their monthly plan is like 20K. Mm -hmm. And you're saying, you know what? Bring 15K and, and you use think unlimited. After the first time they bring it, will you not change your plan? No, you block them it now. It's you easy now. But you give people opportunities. Why would I go... Catherine, why give up because oh, that no. definitely that's happened to you before why would i go on such a long journey you are making me change my password because i'm blocking and you to use a my fi that would do that would okay. continue i said i'm not shutting my wi-fi it's okay it's okay this he is goes. very very personal <laughs> very personal guys we're gonna go on a quick break when we come back we can, i love what?
Hello. <laughs> when we come friend. back, he's coming and say, connect or die. <laughs> So places you cannot go. You cannot go to YouTube. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You cannot go. I'll put you in the corner. Okay. <laughs> when we come back, we'll get into the economic issues of the economic community for West African states. See what Including I did there? Sharing wealth. Economic. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with Including us. sharing wealth. Welcome back. We're streaming live on our social media platforms. We're at New Central TV. Please use the hashtag Jassiri to be part of the conversation. Now, have you heard about the ECHO? It's the planned single currency for the economic community of West African states, ECWAS countries. There have been several proposals of a one African currency, the first being back in 1983. Older than some people on this table. But discussion became much more of a reality around Hello, 2000. Like Hello, <laughs> let me lay my foundation. But discussion became much more of a reality around 2000 when the euro was successfully introduced. Now, just this weekend, with Nigeria's strong endorsements, finance ministers and central bank governors from the 15 ECOWAS countries have advanced a plan to launch the single currency initiative with the aim of propelling economic growth and development throughout the West African sub-region. Now, for a deeper insight into this development, we're joined by a senior analyst at SBM Intelligence. Our guest brings a wealth of expertise and insights into economic policies. Olusheyi Awoju Lube. Right? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Awoju Lube. Welcome to Jassiri. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm giving you names like that. May the force be with you. I'm giving you names like that. Because God knows. I'm going to pause. All right. Um, Shay, welcome to this. Welcome. Thank you. And I like that it's, it's a woman pleasure in to be finance, here. in expertise, yes. in, you know, geopolitics mm. and everything. I was very specific in who we're looking for. Yeah, and because Thank that's you. how it should be. I mean, we're better in management. But okay. That's a conversation for another day. <laughs> but um, anyway, Shay, um, the echo, right, mm -hmm. is not just a... Um, an attempt at economic at boosting economic growth. It's also a significant step towards economic integration. But what would you say are the parameters surrounding the implement the successful implement? Because it's one thing to have that idea, which is a brilliant idea. It's another thing to implement it successfully. So, what are the parameters surrounding its implementation? Yes. Yeah, so, um, the idea of Echo really is that. The 15 ECOWAS countries have a common currency, something like we have in the Eurozone where everyone spends the Euro. Mm -hmm. And even in Sub Saharan Africa, we have a number of countries, about eight, that spend the CEFA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. So that's what the ECHO is supposed to model. That's what mm -hmm. it's supposed to be like. So for that to come into place, there are a lot of things because all the countries have to have something like a common band of economic realities. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. your inflation rate has to be within a certain range. Your debt levels has to be within a certain range. Your foreign exchange reserves has to be within a certain range. So there are all of those criteria that countries have to implement. And so it's a gradual process. It's not something that can just be implemented. Mm -hmm. So now with the ECHO, there was an initial timeline that was going to be launched in 2020. Yeah. But because of COVID and, and all of that, it was pushed further back. So now they've set a timeline, timeline towards 2027. So we hope that mm. the countries can reach and assist, uh, we, we call it the convergence criteria. Yeah. So we hope that each country can meet this criteria so that the currency can be launched. So I, I find it interesting when you talk about this sort of convergence and everything uh, in terms of inflation, debt balancing, and all that. We know what COVID did to African economies, mm -hmm. and it sets the African continent back like 25 years in terms of progress. How, real, how realistic, because I have another question, but how realistic is it that by 2027, we're going to see enough of these ECWAS countries being able to meet the convergence point? Well, at this point, everyone has been optimistic. Um, Wale Edo, the Minister for Finance, was saying that he's optimistic over the weekend, was saying he's optimistic that um, ECOWAS countries can meet this convergence criteria. Um, the ECOWAS had initially, so you know, like the Naira is managed by the central bank. So yeah. there is. ECOWAS Central Bank that will manage this currency. And they had set up a committee that was supposed to monitor 
the economies and how close uh, does ECOWAS economies and how close they had to meeting this convergence criteria and the score actually dropped so oh. in, <laughs> <laughs> so mm. in 2020 uh, between 2020 and 2022 now I'm not sure the score that ECOWAS countries were scoring about 44 percent so almost half of meeting that target but now it had dropped to 29 percent. 29? And does it have to be a hundred percent or we're looking at, at crossing 75, 80 percent? Close to, close to. So now it has wow. dropped, but um, Wale Edu is saying that, or oh, Mr. Wale Edu is saying that he's optimistic that, that ECOWAS countries can, can meet that. Just to be clear, some of this... Um, In three years? Well, it's a huge ask. Yeah. To be sure, it, it's a huge ask. It's that Inflation has to be single digits, meaning below 10%. We know where Nigeria's inflation is at. Um, you have to have foreign reserves that can cover three months of imports. With our foreign reserve at its current level, we certainly meet that criteria in Nigeria. There's also that um, your CBN, the ways and means, shouldn't be more than 10%. We know that at the end of the last administration, the National Assembly passed a bill to increase the, the limit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so that, and there's also that the debt levels must not be more than 10% of GDP. Right now, Nigeria's debt to GDP ratio is already above 40%. So, mm. <laughs> so that if, if we're looking yeah. at three, four, <coughs> Nigeria's only one out of, one out of four that you're okay with. It's anyway. indeed a big ass. <laughs> Please, let me go back <laughs> to the CFA <laughs> thing, catching okay. people. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, you talked about out of the 15 Equus countries, that there are eight countries that are top. Uh, to the West African mm -hmm. safer Frank. Mm -hmm. While we're looking at this echo helping to get financial freedom for them, <laughs> we know France is not going to let go like that. It's not going to be mm -hmm. easy. This particular obstacle, how do you think ECOWAS is going to overcome it to make sure that all the member countries are able to partake? Mm -hmm. And then not just this obstacle, what else do you think is an obstacle uh, in the way of this, aside from some of the convergence criteria that you mentioned? Well, um, it's, it's going to be tough for France to let go. But also, as we've seen with the uh, coups that happened in Niger and all of that, um, their exposure to France, they're already this, the UNTAs and the whatever the governments in these countries now are already trying to break away from France. And they are already saying we want to, you know, they are even trying to come out of ECOWAS too, saying that we want to form our own coalition and things like that. And so yeah. ECOWAS has already dispatched the president of the, um, Senegal, the new president of Senegal, to try to get them back on board. And so it is hopeful that if the will of the many, so the will of the many, the that's ECOWAS, override. will override. And so with some, if, if um, with the intervention of some multilateral agencies like the IMF and World Bank, if they see that it's for the greater good, then perhaps they can prevail on France to, to let go. Interesting. Hmm. There are so many questions that arise from this, believe me, and I have them because it's not the first time we've heard about this echo, mm -hmm. and we know the struggle even within um, countries in the CFA. Yeah. Now, my question would be among many questions. I was going to ask you off the top of my head, but let me follow protocol. Okay. I'm going to ask you off the top of my head, do you think it's possible? And you still but, went ahead. To no. <laughs> I, that's why I said but. I hold it. Let's think this is it. But let's look at reports that um, show support uh, for the ECHO. It's fueled by the NIMC, that's the National Identity Management Commission, which is part of the three-in-one identity card initiative proposed by them. Now, question is, these projects, these two projects, how do they complement each other? One. And then how crucial is our beloved country's role in the successful implementation, I like that smile, in the successful implementation of the ECHO? Because based on the criteria you just gave and to lose concern for three years, if it's feasible within three years, I don't know, um, but I'm just a pencil in the hand of the creator. But I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> how, me what, 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 <laughs> <laughs> how is Nigeria going to this role? How is Nigeria t going to sit down on top of this role to ensure the implementation of this, given its economic position in the region? Yeah, so you're right to say that, and we all know that Nigeria is the giant in the room mm. when you're talking about ECOWAS countries. Mm. Um, we have the muscle, even mm. if we don't give ourselves enough credit, we have the muscle. And um, so usually with, this, um, with these um, currencies, with the, when usually they try, when com countries try to 
have mm -hmm. this uh, her come together. It's usually coordinated or led by uh, a huge or a big some, brother. Some, exactly, yes. a big brother. Thank big you. Brother. So Nigeria <laughs> is already filling that role. Mm -hmm. uh, Wale Edon, the Minister for Finance, yes. is the um, chairman of the, the committee. Of the committee. Yeah. So we're already filling that role. So Nigeria is going to play a huge part in whether or not ECHO comes alive. Mm. Whether it comes alive in 2027 is another question. Yeah. It's from now, from where we sit right now, it doesn't look feasible yeah. because it's a big ask, especially when you look at even Nigeria's own budget figures to say, we know that we're still paying subsidy. We know that the government still aims to borrow more and we're already above or See way them. above <laughs> the the ten percent uh, yeah. ten budget to ten percent budget to GDP um, debt to GDP ratio. So th there's other concern, but Nigeria will certainly play a huge role um, with regarding the NIMC. Yeah. Um, the the idea is that when you are able to know how many people you have, you're able to identify them, then you can know which segment of the population requires intervention. You can then track their financial activities, their trading activities, because within the ECOWAS region, there's a lot of informal trade. So Nigerian yams, yams, it is said, make their way into Ghana, mm -hmm. and then it is then exported abroad. Yeah. Those yams don't count towards Nigeria's export. It counts yeah. towards Ghana's, Ghana's export. export. Mm. So that that's the thing. So with the NIM states that you should be able to track everybody. You track what they are doing. Already we have the BVN, and so the NIM say I think there's a new World Bank loan ID for development. Yeah. That's the idea ID for D, so that you can track everything and you can know which segment of the population needs help, and can even account for everything that goes on within the West African region. You know, I, I'm looking. At, I'm, I'm I'm enjoying the discourse because there are a lot of facts and figures and a lot of things that need to be figured out. Mm -hmm. And this is not only on the table of Nigeria. Yeah. We're talking about across ECOWAS countries. Yeah. So what are the key things that every country that wants to get in on this have to do? Because we need to prepare, yeah, whether we like it, so that this transition can be smooth. You know, it works out, It works in Europe. Africa is a different ball game. The parameters might be similar, mm -hmm. but you know that our ways are never straight. Yeah. So what do they need? What are the key things that every ECOWAS country need to focus on so that this transition can be as seamless as possible, whenever it happens? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I think that another, that another caveat that I should add is that we shouldn't expect that the transition will be seamless. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But was the transition for the European Union with the euro, was it? It wasn't exactly seamless. seamless. And but it, so it wasn't exactly... What it, came to, happen here? it came to light, uh -huh. although they're still having they're still having problems even within the eurozone. Yeah, and we saw that that was one of the things that led to Brexit. Brexit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we also that's one of the lessons that ECOWAS countries have to take to say that Nigeria or whichever country is going to form a major part yeah. of the ECO does not feel burdened by the weight because when you have when you're using a, uh, a single currency it means that the ECOA central bank will have to make fiscal transfers to countries that are struggling yeah. mm -hmm. which was what we saw with the uk and the uk population saying that they were the ones that were funding the rest of the mm -hmm. euro area how that but do you now? know that mm -hmm. when you brought out this very salient point africa is different and our levels of suffering in different countries are on different levels. <laughs> so I'm looking at the feasibility of this because there are war torn countries among these countries. Yeah. There are countries that are so impoverished mm -hmm. among these countries. And we're talking about a workability. A single purse. A single purse. Yeah. Do you think that Africans that are inherently selfish will be able to succumb to the rulership of one? Mm. Well, because that is money that is ruling us one. Well, yes. So it, it wouldn't exactly be rulership of one. It's going to be anchored by the ECOWAS Central Bank. Mm. That's so the one. Led by. Led by. Made no, up led, of. led by whoever the presidents agree to, to, to mm -hmm. take the role. Wow. So, so that, that's that. And so you're talking about the fact that um, there are different situations um, within African countries, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But 
one thing that will work definitely work in favor of the echo is that everyone knows how the, the possibility and so when they were talking about the AFCFTA yeah, that's everyone cool. could could we could tell the potential so if Nigerian goods can move freely into certain countries thanks to the AFCFTA we know how that means if I am making puff puff or pancake mix in you Lagos know, yeah I can sell to somebody in Cameroon I don't have to worry about import duties and all of that once mm -hmm. it means certain so that's the same thing with echo it means that you do you are you don't have to worry about buying dollar or something when you want to go mm -hmm. and it also opens up the area so everyone even though we have different um, realities in different african countries everyone knows what is at stake and what is possible if you're able to achieve this it means that um they don't, for example, the countries whose currencies are paid to the euro don't have to worry about an external body managing their affairs. For Nigerians, for example, we know that if whatever currency the echo is finally pegged against, we don't know whether it's going to be the dollar or the euro, whatever it is pegged, pegged against, we know that we have the strength of all these economies, all the economies all backing it. us. Mm -hmm. so, so there is, there is a lot at stake. So even with Ghana, they're having some issues now with uh, debt sustainability. Yeah. They are under IMF, IMF program. Yeah. So, they, so Nigeria, for example, so imagine that Nigeria Republic or the Republic of Benin now wants to do trade with a country. They know that I have Nigeria's crude oil backing me. I have Ghana's um, gold. gold backing me. Mm -hmm. I have cocoa from, from Cote d'Ivoire. You mm -hmm. understand? So everyone knows what is at stake. And so it is expected that we'll be able to leave aside our selfishness and our selfish interests. So, you said it is expected. Like, so that's an expectation. Because <laughs> I was going to say, just like the AFCFTA, right? Mm -hmm. This is like knowing you have this is like a boost for each country. Yeah. But how does that come to play in unifying the countries? Because just like she said, they might now become a little bit of bad blood if they're saying, oh, it is looking like this person, because at the end of the day, is led by one. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a, uh, would I say, a committee of mm -hmm. certain individuals. So it's going to look like, oh, they're favoring this region more than this region. So how does it, what's the guarantee that this all of this will work together to unify the countries yes we understand that you know they all know that okay this so so and so is at stake um each resources is back in other country but it doesn't still pipe down the selfishness well uh, everyone you know i was saying that everyone knows what is at stake but um I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to see how it, it's, it's going to be difficult. That's what I was saying in response to our question that we shouldn't expect something seamless. Hmm. We shouldn't expect something seamless. The way the, you're saying this, we shouldn't expect something seamless. Hmm. Like, no, because, no, because we, 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 understand, we understand the economies, the state of the economies within ECOWAS. We shouldn't expect something seamless. No, it's just so they don't necessarily so. equal. <laughs> they don't necessarily <laughs> seamless. It not doesn't seamless have to be difficult. difficult. Don't yeah. always equal. equal oh no, okay, I'm listening. Yes. Yeah, so, but when when everyone when we come to the table, yeah. it's it's facts and figures. It's figures. Numbers don't lie. Yeah. Mm. Hundred naira mm. plus hundred naira is two hundred naira. So when you can say this is what each country should contribute based on what so that, those are some of the things mm. each country will contribute um, co each country will contribute to the echo or to the echo central bank based on their gdp based on the size of their economy you're already <laughs> because see, cause the, the question is coming for for you Kathy, yes. go ahead and ask that question she's because she's taking us there yeah mm -hmm. because you have gradually i like how you have allowed the spirit to lead you in this. <laughs> so we'll help you open that pot now the question is how will stronger countries be able to accept, how prepared are stronger countries be able to accept the fact that whether or whether and stronger countries... Whether country, or what? Whether or whether and. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So whether or whether and, the stronger countries will have to be the ones to shoulder more of the responsibility. Mm. Whether, and it might be like that the weaker countries listen, are enjoying more of the understand? benefits. Mm. So you, you see that weaker economies, you, you look at it, the fact that, oh, I'm hiding under my brother's umbrella. The uh, brother being the biggest being Nigeria and, other, of course, other countries that are not as big but are close. Mm -hmm. how, are we going, how, how will the weaker economies benefit? That's one. 
uh, and then potentially strain the bigger ones. That's basically what I'm asking here. And then that's under a one, a one current seed region, one current seed region. And then what measures might be needed you know, for the, for the smooth economic integration, that integration. Everybody has to be on the, on the same level playing field. And we have to, my worry in all my questions, my worry is that how do, how prepared are the bigger economies or stronger economies to shoulder, the, they, burden. To shoulder, shoulder the, burdens. the burden? Shoulder the burden. Once we come first simply like kids, yes. how are the first born? That's it. Like, like, how are the first born? My sister, oh, that's, that's it. This that's is it. where I born. don't enjoy our Can status as Africa. I'm not your mate. Yes. <laughs> I would rather we are the dwarf of Africa. <laughs> no, we are not. So that they can help us. Did you not hear her that we are not accepting, we are not collecting our status? We are giants by name. Chest. <laughs> we have 14 young ones. Dwarfs by reality. We have 14 <laughs> young ones. Please, who is the bro? And the bro. So, so yes, um, oh countries like Nigeria, um, yeah. countries with muscle within the region, like yeah. Nigeria, like uh, Ghana, mm -hmm. like Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. will show that a huge part of that responsibility. But it's also that we also have a lot, we stand to gain a lot from it. What, I think what is important for people, because mm. I've been seeing some questions mm. online, we see you on YouTube, is what does Nigeria gain? gain. Just give us maybe the top mm. three. Is it mm. tourism? Is it a, a wider Exclusion. market? What do we is gain? Is it PR? What's, it? What's in it? So first is that we would have to worry about Naira is one five to dollar today. It is one seven to dollar tomorrow. Inflation is this and that. So that's that's research has shown that countries who are within a unified um, currency area, they typically have lower inflation rates. Okay. Mm. Because it means that so they, it can help crash our inflation rate exactly and, and just normalize it. So keeping, it will spread. It. Everybody's sharing it. So it's not as if one person has to. So it's like we want to live to the stable and then you leave it to one person and compared to everyone has lifted. it. Okay. My hand can be there, but I'm not Don't, lifting it. Uh, mm. But, but, but <laughs> that's your, why your hands are both. there. That's why they're, you're the Do you youngest. understand? <laughs> so it is, it is spread across mm -hmm. because the, so we're less vulnerable to external shocks. Mm -hmm. And so like I was saying it that, you know that you're backed by, so even if crude oil prices fall today, cocoa prices may be rising, mm -hmm. the prices of gold may be rising, mm -hmm. and all this will back the currency. Okay. Mm. So unlike Nigeria's current situation where when crude oil prices fall, the Naira is in trouble. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and so when crude oil falls, cocoa mm. from Cote Cocoa Cote and gold. Balance, my balance mm. the... We'll balance so, everything. Okay, mm. Mm. makes sense. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. now I understand. Mm. And then when we're now talking about inflation and all of that, it's that food that is produced in... So all of this, they work hand together and in hand with the AFCFTA. So you know that food and yam were now exporting as... And we're, we're gaining the benefits. And we're gaining the benefits. You know, now that you talked about okay. this, very important, because we're talking trade. Mm. Mm. And the African Continental Free Trade um, Trade Area Agreement, it came into force in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, but since then, there has been progress. We have worked forward. Mm -hmm. But you know the dividends mm -hmm. of a United African market mm -hmm. of about 1.3 billion people that is worth about, let's say, uh, $3 trillion. Mm -hmm. dollars. Uh, I've still not been, I've still not materialized. <laughs> and some will say it will take years before we get to that. So where does ECOWAS, having a single currency for the sub uh, region, fit into these AFCTA plans? Is it a plus or a minus? Because you're talking trade. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the one that we signed that is basically for trade, we have not yet so, reaped so, mm, the, the dividends. Let it not be like a hallucinatory uh, journey. It's all the that we are all. It's okay. It's okay. So, so with the AFCFTA, there are some um, terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. So you you know that with the AFCFTA, they were talking about things about country of origin for some yeah. products, so that it's not a situation where a country in Europe or in the Middle East yeah. imports sends down goods to Ghana or to just anywhere hypothetically mm -hmm. now or to Nigeria and then Nigeria is presenting it as their own good okay. and then they are now sending it to Nigeria under the FCFTA. Mm -hmm. So there, there, there's some of that concerns. There's also that a lot of these African economies, not a lot of them are manufacturing economies. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that is why we're yet to see 
or feel, let me say, that's why we're, we're here to feel the impact. the impact of the AFCFTA. If it was a situation, so for example, at SBM Intelligence, we did a research into um, plastic consumption in the Benin Republic, and we found that, that a lot of the plastic products that are used in Benin Republic originate from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. A lot of our pet bottle drinks are exported to, to the Republic of Benin. Amazing so, it's a cost burden for ourselves. <laughs> She's okay. present, though. I didn't say Shall that. <laughs> <laughs> and so even from, from the northern states, we know that um, Nigeria exports eggs yeah. mm. to, to these other countries, neighboring countries around us. So assuming we would have felt the impact of the AFCFTA better if our manufacturing um, industry was booming, mm. was living up to its potential. So those are some of the ECOPs that are happening. And so it's expected that we echo, it would make things even slightly better. So because now, if you are exporting to Ghana or to the Benin Republic, and you are bringing back your money, you have to first change it to dollar before you now change it back to Naira and then use it for your activities. Mm. Or if you want mm. to buy something from Benin Republic, that change is next to, you change have to change it to dollar yeah. and all of that. So these are some of the things that ECHO will smoothen out mm, okay. and help the AFCFTA. Okay, making mm. sense. So let's talk timelines. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big thing for me. So 2027 is the expected launch date, mm -hmm. but this introduction of the currency has actually been postponed six times. 2003, twice in 2005, 2009, 2015, and then 2019. So, Shay, I'm concerned because three years, 2027 is the deadline. Three years is a short amount of time, especially when you look at the issues Nigeria has. We're in double-digit mm -hmm. inflation, highest ever on record, food, uh, food inflation highest, uh, GDP debt ratio, all that stuff. And it's mirrored across the sub-region. Then you also have countries that are still in the midst of um, military juntas yes. and civil back to, uh, transition back to civilian uh, governments and things like that. If there was to be another postponement, how do you think it would affect the credibility of the project? And do you think some people might say, you know what, at this point in time, Ejo, Ejo, move on. We continue as we were. This single currency thing may just have been a pipe dream. What do you yeah. think? Well, uh, if I were to do a quick survey at this table, how do you feel about Nigeria's participation in ECOWAS? Does it affect you as a Nigerian citizen? No. How do you feel? <laughs> Nothing. Just no, no, don't care. <laughs> why, is this, why are you like this? <laughs> Really, so th these are some of the things where we are talking about. For many Nigerians, they couldn't care less about ECHO yeah. because they don't see that it is um, it's affecting them in in any way. But but it's just that. So if it is postponed again, people mm -hmm. who don't already care. Mm -hmm. It won't really matter. What happens really to the people matter. who do care? What happens mm -hmm. to people like the Minister of Finance, Wale Edu, who's now being optimistic and saying, we can get it done. Don't worry. Let's mm -hmm. have hope. Well, well, we certainly love his optimism. Mm -hmm. We hope that it would push us forward <laughs> from yeah. the current 29% um, that we are on, on in that. In terms of the criteria. In yeah. terms of the criteria. So we certainly hope that it will push us forward. Even so, it's better that they postpone, even if we reach like 60%, so that the next set of people who will hopefully then get it done. 100%. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Rather than, so if it's, it's not so bad if we postpone, because if we look at the realities, it doesn't look feasible that Nigeria will get to 9% inflation. Why did we, wait, why did we set a, set a 2027 <clears throat> deadline? We could have added two years. Mm -mm. So for some, for some countries, we why did we wake up? Why did we even wake up now? Why is the, why is the talk? Why are we having the talk now? Why didn't we have the talk sooner? So that if we wanted to make 27, 2027 feasible. <laughs> in reality, it would have happened earlier. It would have happened. Well, we also had that talk in 2003. We had it in 2000. So we, we like to talk. <laughs> I like that. All right, so let me quickly ask. Um, let's talk about the foundation of ECHO, seriously. Foundation of ECHO. What do you think it's based on? What do you, what do you foresee based on gold reserves, mineral resources, or just foreign exchange reserves, potential, potential options? What's, the, last what's it going to be based mm -hmm. on? Well, um, really, the foreign exchange reserves of the countries will play a, a huge role, and that's what's already been stated in the convergence criteria that your foreign exchange reserves must be able to cover at least three months of imports. So that's going to be a huge role. It depends on the ECOWAS Central Bank now and mm -hmm. the presidents and the Minister of Finance within the region to decide 
which currency it will be pegged against. So for I was going to say that for some countries within the ECOWAS um, region, it's easier for them to meet the timeline, especially yeah. because they are those already under the CEFA. So we, you found that, that the CEFA has been be relatively stable. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for countries like that, it's, it's easier for them to meet this convergence criteria. But other countries like ours have been badly behaved. And, <laughs> how hard do we, that uh, are you colonized by it? the French? Do you understand? So how your Naira it? doesn't speak French. <laughs> 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 well, we, we hope, and especially now that the Minister for Finance is already optimistic, we hope that we can get there. Okay. I share the hope with you. Mm. Honestly, thank ah. you so much, Oluashe. Oluche, very insightful conversation. Thank you for sharing your insights and transformative initiatives. So in other words, uh, the introduction. Our salvation. Mm. Ah. Continue. Mm. Anyway, the introduction <laughs> of the single currency <laughs> represents a bold step mm. towards a greater economic integration and stability in West Africa. We'll go for a break now, but when we return, it's hot topics and let's talk about money and integration <laughs> and convergence and hope and, hope hope. and I beg. Let's go. Here we <laughs>After talking about the economy, I need something to wrap me up. Hmm. 2027, we see you. Anyway, welcome back to Jesse. We're live on our social media platforms. We are at New Central TV. In our hot topic for today, a lady's best friend who is getting married asked her to be her maid of honor. Now, despite helping extensively with wedding preparations, the bride sent an invitation without a plus one for the lady's husband. When questioned, the bride explained that only personally known guests were invited. Now, the woman has insisted her husband should be invited, leading to a disagreement where the bride accused her of selfishness. The woman has now decided not to attend the wedding without her husband, causing mixed reactions from family and friends. Now she's asking, did she overreact? Yeah. So I've helped you plan your wedding. I followed you everywhere, fittings, picking flower arrangements and all that. I actually got married three years before you. And I invited your then fiance, your then boyfriend, who's now becoming your husband, to my wedding. But now you're getting married and you say that, oh, I should still be a bridesmaid, but my husband is not invited. Hello, please, make it make sense. Eh, I mean, no problem now. I don't have to attend. Absolutely. So you're stepping down, you're fine with stepping down from bridesmaids' duties and not even attending. Exactly. Mm. Uh, because that is quite selfish. Most of the time, people forget that when two people become married, they're like one person. How about the, if the husband is really interested in attending the wedding just because of the promise you laid? The, but the husband so, said it's fine, that his wife should go. She eh, no, but she, will not, she won't enjoy the place. Yeah. It will be as if I'm here for, do you know how much a uh, bridesmaid dress is? Mm. Would you even see her looking glorious and beautiful? I, I don't know, but like... <laughs> like what? So your wedding, no plus one. Hold on, hold on. Like what? Right, hold on. No, so, so, so the thing bad. is, right, she may not know the husband, that's one. Mm. Number two, so I'm trying to picture, and this is me trying to give excuse for the lady, right? So what if it's like a destination wedding? I want to pay for your trip to Dubai and or something. If you were paying. And I'm like, I want only 30 guests huh. for my <laughs> wedding. Mm. I know you, you're my friend. I'm not very close to your husband. And you would not even have time to sit with your husband. I was not close to your boyfriend when yeah, I invited him for invited my wedding. That's your wedding. You, you shouldn't have invited him. Yeah. Wow. Do you see so wow. Do you see this line? <laughs> do you see this line down this table? <laughs> uh -huh. eh? Eh? No, eh? let's be honest. Like, I'm just saying, you want a crowd. I don't. Mm. Really? <laughs> and then I Honestly, do you know that we have to get to a point that we can be comfortable enough to say... I don't want to come. Because yeah. most of the time we do things for our friends, they will not re never reciprocate. So she said, so she has said she's not coming, and the husband says whatever decision she makes is fine. But she's also saying that even if she goes and he says it's fine, he's going to feel somehow. I've attended weddings without my husband, but there's no wedding I've been invited to since I was married mm -hmm. that is not a plus one. Exactly. But if it's a group of people who he doesn't know, babe, go and have more. So yeah. that yeah. he's actually excluded. Yeah. Yeah. Your, 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 uh, I'm friends with blessings. The way I reason my matters are not the way blessing reasons her matter. So the first thing doesn't mean anything to no, you. No, 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 hold so on. So I it doesn't it, 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 blessing not to take away from what you're going to say. It doesn't I do know what I'm going to they, say. They, they, <laughs> I know you, you will echo. But <laughs> hey. okay, yeah, you will echo. No, but the truth is it's like taking someone as your best friend and the person doesn't take you, doesn't automatically I can be I, 
Lolo can be my best friend, but I am not Lolo's best friend. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with saying yes. Yeah. So, there's so, nothing wrong no, with that. Yeah. Know. It could be that, like Blessing said, I don't really know your guy. Maybe I'm not really comfortable with your guy. Okay. Oh boy, if you invited me and my guy, I'm not forced to invite us, but you invited us and we thank you for that. But not because you did that to me, mm. is reason enough for me to do that to you he as waited. well. Yeah, so it is. Number two, he planned all that thing So that's, that, that was the problem, it may be right? Yeah. That was the mistake. Because to be honest, it's not everybody that is into plus ones. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be very sincere, right? I, I, if I don't know someone on a personal level, I may have problems inviting the person, right? If your husband and yourself were like my childhood friends and I'm like, oh, I, I want to reduce crowd, that's a problem because I know your husband. But if I'm not, if I don't really know your husband and I'm saying, okay, I want 29 people and all the people I know make up 29, including yourself. The mistake here is she should have mentioned earlier, earlier. that this is what I want. Are you okay with it? If you're not, I understand if you cannot, you know, be so on the bridesmaid. So the bride is calling her selfish, and she's feeling that she's standing up for not just herself, but also her husband. But do you well, forget that the bride does not regard the husband as, He's you know. But do you know most of the time, a wedding, do you know plus ones really is for your friend's enjoyment? Yeah. Because half of the time, you are... The center Can you afford of it attention. though? Can I afford your friend's enjoyment? Can I? And then you shouldn't have allowed but me to be so involved. So that's what I said. I bought you know, a shirt and I helped people you plus plan. One, no. She just did that's not give her said. bridesmaid plus that's one. That's why uh -uh. I'm saying uh -uh. that. She may not be feeling like the guy is up to her, her, her standard. Uh, uh, standard or the standard of the nature of people she's inviting. Then number two, mais c'est vrai, c'est ça la réalité. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's what you're saying. Echo. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's one. Number two, well, it could be that she perhaps had done something with the husband of the friends. Well, they could have been exes. That they, they don't want to been. see each other it, at the it, wedding. I, I was looking for a lot more context. Anything I don't know if this So happen. that I can, maybe she doesn't really? like the guy. So family and friends are called. Some have said that she's doing the right thing for standing up for a marriage. Others are saying that she's throwing a tantrum. It's the bride's day. It's the bride's decision who she wants there. And then I think we all need to realize that when you act, people have every every right to, to react. react and exactly. her reaction is i'm not coming and it's fine and it's okay husband. but the bride is not making it that it's fine the bride is saying you must come to my wedding without your husband then because that is what issues. i want she has a problem then she has a problem you see there's on the like when you look at these things two friends you can say you have friends friends since uh, childhood and things like that but Two people can never be the same. What did they say? Your friend, uh, maybe there's an underlying jealousy there, underlying Maybe anything. she even had there's, a thing with the husband Do you before. understand? Oh boy, your friend, be as he be, collect her like that. That's how your friend has been. He's okay. She won't even interact with the guy so much. He'll be sitting with his wife. Maybe she just, it, it's possible that she had something to do with the guy and she doesn't just want to spark oh, maybe anything. Maybe she visited the bank, everybody order. Now, I don't want that kind Let's of person see. around my... You have every right to act the way you do, but like Tolu said, do not throw a tantrum when someone else reacts, okay? Yeah. So this is where we draw the curtain to a close mm. on today's episode of Jassiri. Please, if you know you're planning a wedding and you don't intend to invite your bridesmaid <laughs> husband, don't invite her as well. Thank you very much and God bless you. All right, for myself and the ladies, it's a lovely day. Bye. Join us again tomorrow. What was that? Echo. Echo location. No, uh, what was that? Uh, oh, Marco. <laughs>